Jen. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations on your book coming out. Um, as we're in isolation, I thought still an occasion to pour myself a G&T, popped a bit of slap on and a nice blouse because I thought, well, it's what I'd do if I was reading for you. IRL. Um, so yes, I just wanted to say thank you as well because you were the first person to get me to actually read my work out loud and so it feels very significant that you asked me to read for this. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you to Test Centre and to Jen and um, I'm going to read something that's from my forthcoming book with Makina Books. Um, it's called There's Always Change Yeah, and this story is called Jenny Green Teeth. The industrial past is with us. The crumbling mills untouched for years, home to scores of pigeons hidden in woods. Their ponds flat and green, thriving with tadpoles in the summer. Some have names like Titanic. Their owners not shy about the size of their ambition. Some will burn mysteriously, the land they sit on too valuable to waste. There are dry stone walls along the main roads, bracken bursting through the stone, there are rumours of long lost tram stops in woods, tracks hidden beneath dirt. The once grand Victorian park had a ballroom. Sepia photographs exist of smart Edwardians spending a leisurely Sunday. The earth is flat where it once stood. The park is now a maze of plants and jutting limestone shelves, oddly Jurassic. Though every house on the street has a satellite dish or a soda stream or a mega drive, we will never be entirely in modernity. There are phantoms everywhere we look and deep green nature bursting at us through every crack in the stone and the concrete. We will walk along the towpaths of the canal in summer, bursting balsam buds between our fingers, savouring the perfume as we do. We will swim in iodised water of the horseshoe weir amongst the sticklebacks and dragonflies. Old men will continue to fish for pike in the discarded plastic bags and stolen bikes. Our parents will still tell us a cautionary tale about Jenny Greenteeth, the monster woman who lurks beneath the algae, ready to eat us if we fall in. They will teach us, way a way a warrior, down by the river sawyer, a jaunty song about a child murderer. The town centre will change, drained into nothingness by a shopping centre sat leech-like at its edge. But as you walk away, everywhere you look is teeming with indomitable life. Heat coming from stone, flowers growing in grates, air wafting through cracked windows of abandoned buildings. <laughs>